Algebra 2. This is closure problem uh, A-121, which is a bunch of systems of equations. And uh, one of the goals in systems of equations is to eliminate one variable. We can do that several ways. One of the ways is we could add or subtract the equations to eliminate a variable, or we can use a substitution method. And it just depends on the problem and what, what you can see and which method to use. In this first problem, I notice that if I just subtract the second equation from the first, the x's will go away. So I do that. And I'm left with 3y equals 15, and now we've solved for y. Once you have one of the variables, you want to substitute that back into either of the two equations and solve for the second variable. And we get that x equals 7. Now this, in, in this case, these are all, since they're x's and y's, it is an ordered pair, and so I like the answer written as an ordered pair. But, but it is that x equals 7 and y equals 5 is also good. In the second equation, I'm going to uh, add these two equations together also, but it wouldn't eliminate any variable, so I'm going to first multiply the second equation by negative 2. Now when I do that, you'll see that the x's are opposite. I've got a 4x and a negative 4x. So when I add the two equations together, the x's are gone, and I can solve for y. Substituting that back in, I solve for x, and I have my ordered pair. In the third um, system of equation here, it looks like it would be easier to use the substitution method, because it's already the second equation has been solved for x. So I'm going to substitute this in for x in the first equation. Simplifying collecting like terms, I solve for y. Then I substitute that back in and solve for x, and I write the answer in an ordered pair. This last system looks really confusing because it's got x's and y's on both sides of both equations. So the first thing you have to do is simplify each of those equations. So in the first equation, I got my x's and y's on the left-hand side, and I left my constants on the right. And I did the same thing with the second equation. And now you'll notice that your y's are opposite. I've got a positive 1y and a negative 1y. So if I just add those two equations together, the y's will be gone. I solve for x. I now substitute that x back into either of the two equations and solve for y, and I have my ordered pair.